The halls of the Capitol and the streets of downtown Madison once again packed with protesters. They call this extraordinary session a power grab and say Republicans are trying to undo what Democrats did at the ballot box. Ben Jordan has that story. Inside the Capitol building, the Republican-controlled legislature is paving the way to put these power-stripping bills to votes tomorrow. Meanwhile, around a thousand protesters say their votes should be respected. On the stairs leading up to the Capitol building. Disgusted. I'm disgusted with the whole process. Around a thousand fired up protesters hold signs and chant in unison. Well, Republican leaders claim their efforts are all about balancing power. Democrats like Betty Kale call it a power grab. Listen to the people and what they said on November 6th and the idea of taking power away from the governor and the attorney general. It's just bad sportsmanship. The loud chants don't stop at the doors. They packed the hearings and Democratic lawmakers echoed the protesters' concerns. That is alarming. That subverts the will of the people. That is wrong. If we can stop about the attack on democracy, because that's not true. And if that, and if, do I have to make myself clear I'm clearing the room? Both Democrats and protesters promise if Republicans get their way, their fight will continue. And I got three words for you. Go find counsel. All signs point to Senate and Assembly votes tomorrow. Protesters say they will be back in even bigger numbers then as well. In Madison, Ben Jordan, today's TMJ4. Governor Walker today would not say directly if he'll sign the bills if they do come to his desk. Again, it depends on what they send me. I, I would imagine they're having a long hearing today. And they're going to have a long vote tomorrow. I, I wouldn't be surprised if a number of things that were in that package either were altered or changed in one form or another before they got to our desk sometime later this week. Governor Walker did say he could see reason for moving the 2020 presidential primary, and he signaled support for other bills in the package. It's possible they could land on the governor's desk as soon as tomorrow. Pete Zervakis is staying in Madison tonight to cover the action at the Capitol. Four reports beginning at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning on Live at Daybreak.